In this video, we're going to discuss lines in R2, but first I'd just like to touch on orthogonal, and this is a really fancy term, but it's a simple concept. Orthogonal is the same as saying perpendicular, or at 90 degrees to something, so in math we like using fancy terminology, uh, and it's usually based in Latin or Greek roots, but this just means perpendicular. So an example is working in R3, this just means we have three components, so an X, a Y, and a Z. Uh, we can determine, it, determine if something is orthogonal, or perpendicular, or at 90 degrees, by taking the dot products. Uh, and if the dot product is equal to zero, then we know that it is orthogonal. So if we take the dot product of U dot V, so U, dot vector v is equal to, well, we just multiply the x components, so 3 times negative 1, and then we add that to, we multiply the y components, so plus negative 2 times negative 2, and the same, we just add that by multiplying, or we add that to the uh, multiple of 1 times negative 1, so the z components, and this is equal to 0, so negative 3 uh, plus 4 minus 1 equals 0, therefore the vector u dot v is orthogonal uh, to each other. And just terminology, so we like to discuss the 0 vector all the time, and the zero vector dots vector v, or any vector for that matter, is equal to zero. So, uh, technically speaking, the zero vector is orthogonal to every vector in r to the n. So, if you're working in two dimensions, or three dimensions, or four dimensions, or a millionth dimensions, it doesn't matter. The zero vector is orthogonal to all of them. Okay. So now I'd like to uh, move into lines in R2. So recall that the general form of a line is AX plus BY equals C, or you can rewrite this as Y equals minus A over BX, which is your slope, plus C divided by B, or uh, in point slope form, which most people are f familiar with, we have y equals mx plus b, or I just used k in this case because we've already used b up above here. But k represents the y-intercept. So we'd represent our line 2x plus y equals 0. Let's, let's just use this uh, here to represent that. So y is going to be equal to, well, negative a over b, so negative 2 over 1 negative 2 over 1, the extraction, plus um, k is just c over b, so 0 divided by 1, which is 0. And that is simply it. So that's general form for a line in R2. And let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's do this other one here now as well, so y is equal to negative a over b, so 2 over 1, it's got the same slope, plus uh, c divided by b, so 5 divided by 1, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, so now we need to start discussing uh, lines in vectors and normal form. And this is, this is pretty straightforward as well. So, you know, the way we write this out is the normal vector dot product with the x vector minus their points uh, on point vector. So where p comes from is we've got this point here uh, working with this line, 2x plus y equals 5. So uh, this is at points. 1, 3, and p, vector p, all that really is is we draw a vector from the origin point to that, out to that point, 
So p vector is equal to 1, 3. And, and just recall that square brackets, we represent vectors. But uh, just these curled brackets here, we represent points. So now we can, we can do some stuff with, this is called the normal form for RM. So the normal form. And another way you can represent this is if you just multiply like this, then we get n dot x minus n dot p equals zero. And often, you know, you just add n dot p to both sides of the equation. So another way which which I remember it most easily perhaps n dot x equals n dot p. So those are the three ways it's commonly displayed. But now let's let's work with an example of this. So let's use the normal form, and these are all just the normal form written in different ways. Um, let's actually run through uh, one of these examples. So let's start with. Um, we'll work with, okay, we'll start with this one over here first. Okay, so we have n dot x equals n dot p and our normal vector is going to be 2 one, or yeah, we're working with this one here, so t1, and you know, this x vector here is just the component, so we've got component x, we've got component y is equal to, well, the normal again is t1, so t1 dot product with our point p now, and our point p is uh, in this case we have just the point zero zero we know which is on the line as so it goes through the uh, y-axis at the point zero zero so we just take the dot products here and we get so the x components two times x plus the y components so one times y is equal to this dot product and you know hopefully you remember zero dot any vector is just zero but I'll write it out so two times zero plus one times zero but you know this is all just zero so this comes down to two x plus y equals zero and that's pretty straightforward uh, so now, let's work with this line over here, and let's pick randomly, let's, let's do it this way. Okay, we're going to use this equation now, so n dot product of x minus p, and this is just so you know, you can use any of these equations, they're all the same thing, just represent it differently. So we've got our, our normal vector, uh, in this case, I'm just going to draw through that, it's still going to be n equals to 1 because it's the same line just uh, translated over and so it's going to have a the normal is still going to be at 90 degrees still going to be at 90 degrees to the line so we're still working with a normal of 2 1 so our normal is 2 1 then we dot product that with this fancy x vector which is just the components x y minus the vector p and remember p was the point 1, 3, but then we're not working with the point now, we're working with the vector from the origin to that point, which is uh, the vector 1, 3, so minus 1, 3, this is all equal to 0. So, you know, uh, subtracting vectors in this area here, we're just going to get x minus 1, and you're going to get y minus 
three. So we're going to have two, one, dot product with x minus one and y minus three. And dot product again is just the multiply the x components. So two times x minus one. Then you multiply the y components. So one times y minus three. And remember, it's all equal to zero. So we just get two x minus two plus y, one times y, one times minus three, minus three, equals zero. And front out of space, so I will move the final derivation up to here, but you can see already that this is starting to come out, so 2x plus y, and we're going to have negative 2 and negative 3, so negative 5, 5 on the left, and if we add 5 to each side of this equation, we'll just get 5 over here. So that is the exact same as in the general form. So you can see this works, you can use uh, any of these representations of the normal form, and they will get you back to the general form. Alright, see you in the next video.